The bilateral relations between Japan and Sri Lanka go a long way back. And we are here today to witness yet another significant event uh, where these bilateral relations are getting further strengthened. Japanese government is providing a grant through the Food and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations to further strengthen the inland fisheries and improve rural livelihoods in partnership with the Ministry of Fisheries, Sri Lanka. The Japanese government has provided a grant of 3 million US dollars through the Food and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations, also known as FAO, to strengthen inland fisheries and improve rural livelihoods in partnership with the Ministry of Fisheries. The 3 million US dollar initiative will bolster food and nutritional security and fortify resilience by establishing four community operated mini hatcheries in Batikalo, Mulativ, Anuradhapura, and Monaragala districts, upgrade four nectar aquaculture development centers, and one community operated operated mini fish breeding center to increase breeding and, and rearing capacity, enhance fingerling stocks in selected reservoirs, develop brood stock for breeding units and promote cage culture for seed rearing among fisher communities. Ambassador of Japan to Sri Lanka Mizukoshi Hideaki stressed on how Japan and Sri Lanka, both island nations, share a deep-rooted appreciation for the importance of fisheries in our economies and cultures. Japan and Sri Lanka, both island nations, share deep-rooted appreciation for the importance of fisheries in our economies and cultures. Recognizing this shared significance, Japan has been steadfast in its commitment to supporting Sri Lanka's fisheries development, particularly in the maritime domain since 2023. It is imperative to underscore that this project transcends mere economic development. It embodies our steadfast commitment to fostering sustainable and inclusive growth. With the initiation of this new project alongside our continued efforts, Japan is committed to strengthening Sri Lanka's fisheries sector, thereby improving food security and livelihoods. Minister of Fisheries Douglas Devananda emphasized the importance of this project in mitigating the recent financial challenges that the fisheries industry is facing and in revitalizing the sector. Our dedicated agency, NAGDA, has implemented important measures to foster island fisheries. The government has also invested significantly through recent national budget to stock local reservoir reservoir. However, there are still critical gaps that require resources beyond what local funding can provide. Therefore, this joint initiative by the government of Japan with, with the U.S. 3 million contribution and the FAO is of immense importance. UN Resident Coordinator for Sri Lanka, Mark andre Franch, also commented on UN's commitment in empowering fishing communities and reinforcing crucial sectors like inland fisheries. As the government and the parliament minister is now discussing a new Fisheries Act, it's critical that the act is consulted widely, notably with representatives of fishing communities, including inland, so that the act is not only a, an engine for economic growth, but also a driver for human development and poverty reduction by placing small-scale fishing communities at the center of the act. The project aims to directly support approximately 3,000 inland fishers, 40 farmers engaged in mini-hatchery operations, and 20 farmers specializing in fish feed preparation.